Wow. Boxing Hall of Famer and trainer says that Ryan Garcia will get knocked dead by Gervonta Tank Davis. Woo. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you come in and hit the red and white button. That's called the subscribe button. SLC, subscribe, like, and comment. Now, link in the description. Buddy McGirt, he had did an interview. It looks like he's there for the Joshua versus Usyk festivities. I don't know. He had a fighter on the card or something. And he was asked about the lightweight division. He was asked about the return of Vasily Lomachenko. And he says he believes that Lomachenko would beat Ortiz, the guy he slated to fight, according to the latest reports. He also talked about, he was asked about Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia. And what he said to me is not shocking because most of the industry professionals have basically said similar stuff. You guys seen in the title, he says that Gervonta Davis will knock, will knock him dead. He says, if Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia were to fight, he gives it three or four rounds and Tank is going to knock him dead. Like, so basically he believes he'd be out like a light switch, like a light switch. Hey, he thinks Ryan will get his computer rebooted. Computers computing, computer rebooted. I tutored the student. I neuter the neuter. That's from Huda to Huda. <laughs> Zab Judah to Judah. Killer. Let me know what you guys think of Buddy McGurk and what he says. He definitely held it back. Well, I will say something. The the actual reporter, it sounds like boxing media got to do better because if you just go watch link is in the description but if you go listen and watch the actual interview i notice this a lot with boxing media particularly it's like you'll have a reporter ask a question to a boxing trainer former boxer former champion current champion fighter or whoever they're interviewing and you can immediately tell when a response that they solicited because you're asking for this expertise or this person's opinion and you you can hear the by the the tone and the tonality of their voice and stuff when the person is saying something that maybe they don't particularly agree with it's like they they seemingly feel a type of way and you you can hear it. it's just it, it's hard to explain you guys go watch it and you go listen to it but i see it all the time and when burton mcgurt is saying that ryan garcia would basically get destroyed by Javante Davis. He's he's basically saying it's not. And in the reporter, it's like he doesn't want to settle for that. He's like, oh, you don't think Ryan will have success? Bro, he said that Ryan would get knocked out in three, four rounds. So where in that do you believe that Ryan would have success if he's claiming that he believes there'll be an early knockout? So that's that's the one of the things that's to me is faulty with boxing because you can't make somebody feel what you want them to feel. If you're asking someone for their opinion, the best thing to do is let them voice their opinion and get it all the way out and you know just be okay with that. Like I've interviewed several people and and some of them have said crazy stuff, right? I remember Dominic Brazil and he was saying the craziest things about Wilder. He's like, Wilder, he, oh, he sucks and he doesn't punch that hard. He was saying all types of like crazy stuff. I don't believe that. I don't believe that Wilder doesn't punch hard. But for whatever reason, Dominic Brazil was saying these things. So that's okay. You can interview someone and still not, not relate or not actually agree with what they're saying, but just conduct the interview. And especially when, like, we're not talking about a lot of people in boxing, like, I hate to say it, they're not me, you know what I mean? Where they have this personality and they've been doing it for a while, or Barbara Walters, or, you know, just a known, or anybody from, like, the podcast world, right? Like, we don't even know who some of these guys are, and it seems like they're so hasty to interject their personal opinion. And it's just a sense, and it's just something that's, tiresome i guess in the sport of boxing but as far as what buddy mcgurt said i mean everyone's saying the same thing i agree with him i don't know three four rounds i don't know what round it is but i would definitely favor tank and he says ryan garcia unless you're going to get a lot of money then you you probably don't want to he said he don't think the fight's going to happen because he said ryan garcia he's not going to take it 
he said, if Ryan Garcia, you can't just be fighting Tank because you, you want to prove something. Because if you pick Tank to try to prove a point, he said, you picked the wrong guy. So really, it sounds like Buddy McGirt, who has worked with Kovalev and several other fighters, he has zero faith. And the funny thing is, you have Buddy, who his gym, if I'm not mistaken, is in SoCal. And that's kind of the, the region where Ryan Garcia is. And then you got a guy from Baltimore and Tank Davis and... He's from way over there, and Buddy McGirt is not citing. Just, he's not just. I, I could respect when someone's giving their honest opinion, you know, and that's the case. He could have like some SoCal bias where he's like probably seen or encountered Ryan Garcia or whatever, and you know, try to give him a chance, even if he doesn't feel that he would beat Tank just because of that. And so many people do that, and I feel like it, it just becomes a worthless interview if you're. If you have so much bias and favoritism where you can't give your true opinion, then your opinion is pretty worthless because you're clearly like, I'm not going to say any names, but I remember Mikey Garcia versus Errol Spence. There were people who spar with Mikey Garcia and they were like acting like they really believed Mikey Garcia was going to beat Errol Spence. And I, don't, I really don't feel they, they did truly believe that. That's my personal opinion. That was an easy fight for me to predict Errol Spence as the victor. And that's what happened when they fought. So let me know what you guys think. Ryan Garcia knocked out dead in three or four rounds by Tank. And it's only going to get worse for Golden Boy and only going to get worse for Ryan Garcia because him as the fighter, he's going to want to prove people wrong and prove that he's good enough to beat Tank. And he's going to keep talking and keep talking. And then he's going to look bad because either Golden Boy doesn't get the fight done and release Ryan Garcia to Showtime to make the fight or he's going to actually get what he's looking for. And many people, including Buddy McGirt, myself and others, don't think he's really ready for that level of competition. And the funny thing, too, with the interviewer that was talking to Buddy McGirt, he says that Tank Davis doesn't have a good resume. And it's like, where where are these reporters getting this information? He's, he's saying that neither one of them had a, re a resume that stacks up. Tank has a very good resume. You know, just because I, I don't know what it is, but old media seems to create this notion that Tank has this bad resume. Like if Tank Davis were to fight um, Ortiz, Jermaine Ortiz, people would say Tank is not fighting anyone good. But Lomachenko, he could fight Jermaine Ortiz and he is going to be built up. So these are the biases that you're seeing when it comes to certain fighters, right? Lomachenko could fight Richard Comey and it's heralded as like this big fight. But a bigger Roley and a bigger Mario Barrios, old media acts like Tank has a bad resume and is not fighting anybody. It's just it's very funny stuff. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. I'm the best in the business. SLC, subscribe, like, and comment. And I'm out. Introducing Super Thanks. Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube. Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hybrid Nation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB and extreme bass mode. The Hybrid Nation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel gym or lifestyle headphones the hibernations got you covered the new hibernation fives link in the description customize the way you hear the world welcome to the nation are you tired of your youtube videos not getting any views well consider tubebuddy I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.